Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret and I am here today to share with you 10 costume jewelry brands that are totally findable and worth good money and I have got uh, some of them here with me from recent finds whether I picked them up at Goodwill in the jewelry counter or found them in a jewelry jar or maybe picked them up at a garage sale. So I've done a couple videos similar to this before um, called 10 high-end costume jewelry brands you need to know um, and I'll link them here because I've done two of them I think um, but this is the, the third and I wanted to really talk about ones that I have personally found um, so that you would know that these are ones that are, you know, some of them are really high-end, pie-in-the-sky ones in the other videos. Like, oh, it's like the, the golden unicorn that you're hoping to find. Um, but these are ones that are actually findable. So that, um, that is what I'm going to share with you today. If you are new here, I want to welcome you. My channel is all about finding different ways to make money and learn so that we can expand our knowledge. So when we're out trying to pick up things at garage sales and estate sales and things that we have more knowledge in our repertoire, I guess. Um, so I would love to have you subscribe. Please go down there and hit the subscribe button. And if you're here, I am live. Um, if you're watching live, go share the video. Uh, let people know that I'm live and sharing some really good tips for jewelry. We're trying to grow the channel. We've got some good things planned and I need your help to do that. So thanks so much everybody for your amazing, amazing support. Okay, and also if you're watching later, um, leave a comment letting us know a good costume jewelry brand that you have found that have, has brought some good money and check the comment section because there's always really good discussions and really good tips being shared i always learn something from you guys and i really appreciate it i feel like in such an appreciative mood today okay um hello i'm gonna say hey in the chat real quick and then we will dive into my little my little mini box of jewelry. Um, hi, Murphy the Esky and Kaylee. Hello, Christine. Hello, Vintage Superstar. Gems and Gifts USA. Hello, Vonda. And hi, Cindy and am I missing CJ? Hello, love them anyway. I'm Francis and Sherilyn Dale and let's be happy. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. So first up, I will share. Let me make sure I go in the correct order because you know I'll start getting off. Um, so the first thing I want to share, this was in a jewelry jar recently, and when I pulled it out, I recognized the logo, but I couldn't place it, and at first I thought it was Kendra Scott or Ish, because she's got a similar, you know, like a round, I'll, I'll, I'll share because spoilers, that's one of the ones coming up as well. So I saw it and I was like, ah. And then I was like, well, maybe it's a knockoff of one of hers, but it's not. It is. And I had lots of you guys saying in the chat, it's Tory Burch. It's Tory Burch. Like, okay, okay, okay. I have heard of Tory Burch. So this is a Tory Burch. And I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of um, different Tory Burch jewelry that you can find and what the, the logo looks like. So this was one, and it was in a jewelry jar that I think I paid $30 for the jar. And this one piece could pay for the whole jar. So let's flip it over. Um, just so you get an idea of what kind of what kinds of jewelry you can find that are Tory Burch. And she does more than just that because I've seen shoes and purses and all kinds of stuff. So these are sold listings. These are little stud earrings uh, for $58. Here are some other, they look like cuff, I mean not cufflinks, but they look like those. Those handcuffs, those like heavy duty ones that are like, I don't know, they look like handcuffs to me. Maybe it's just, or is this Gem? Okay, whatever. Maybe it's just Gemini. Um, but there are some that are leather. There are some, but still, you that logo is prominent. You know, you see that logo in there. Um, even this tortoise shell one that looks like it's a resin um, has got, you can see it embossed in there, like pressed in there. Okay, so these are some different Tory Burch styles that are out there. Again, it's logo, logo, logo. <laughs> Big time for Tory Burch. So take a look at those. And then the one, this one, I couldn't find this exact color, but I did find, now I had it pulled up. Where did it go? Hang on. I found, oh, here we go, an orange one. So there, oh, you can't see it there. Okay, this orange Tory Burch cuff bracelet sold for $43. Let me make sure I'm looking at sold here. 
think I am. I'm scrolling all the way back up. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're not going to scroll. Oh, yeah, 43 bucks uh, for a sold one of these with the orange um, instead of the cream color that I've got here. But it's in really nice shape. So this will have paid for the whole jar and then some for, yeah, Tory Burch. So keep an eye out for that logo and hopefully you will find some too. So again, these are totally findable ones. Um, Kaylee's saying Avon's a good brand. Yeah, I, I have found some Avon stuff too that has sold. So that's that's true. I know a lot of people just totally discount it, but there are some Avon pieces that can sell. Okay, next up, let me try to, I'm trying to go in order and try not to do spoilers because I want to show you the piece first. So, okay, next up, I have found a number of these. Let me pull it out. One of them I sold to a viewer the moment I, I pulled it from a jar. And I got a lot of them in a jar recently. And these are Alex and Annie bracelets. So I'll pull one out so you can see how it looks. But I've got a bunch, a bunch of them. Um, so and, and when, I, when I found my first one, I'd never heard of Alex and Annie before. But since, I've seen this store at the mall. And I've, I've had a lot of people um, share that with me. So this is Alex and Annie. It looks like a like a bangle style bracelet, and then they have these little charms that hang down. Some of mine are in kind of rough shape, but but I think they might still sell. So this one's got the Fleur de Lis on it, and it's got these other little ones. And where does it say Alex and Annie on the back? Probably that yeah, Fleur de Lis on the back. Okay, so Alex and Annie, 2015. So this, let's see, I've got that one. This one is a dragonfly, and again, these were all in a jewelry jar. I think one of them was in a different jar, but then there were like four or five. Do you remember that one? Um, four or five of them were in one jar. This one is the Tree of Life. Um, this one is the Jets. And then we have, I'll show you the ones I've got here. I can't remember the one I sold. This one is Leo. And as you can see, like it's kind of in rough shape, but while it may not be able to get the highest price, I still think that it will sell. And this one is a mermaid. And then finally, what was this one? This one is, oh, St. Christopher. So this one is St. Christopher. St. Christopher's in, in okay shape. So there's that. Okay. So let's take a look at Alex and Annie and the solds. Oh, I see some questions in the chat. Let me peek over. Um, Francis says that cuffs, this one sells for 175 brand new. Oh, nice. That's nice to know. Um... Do different color, I, I bet, I mean, I would think that different colors would be more desirable. Like, I'm, I would think that orange would really, I mean, for me, but then you just have to think everybody's different, so, yeah. Um, hey, bum crack picker. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Kaylee says, when I get Alex and Annie, they sell immediately after putting them up. That's good to know. So I've got all these. Let's take a look at what kind of solds we can look at over there. And while you're waiting for me to do that, go over there and hit the thumbs up. I don't have any fancy graphics today asking, but yeah, go over there and hit thumbs up. So here are sold listings, and I'm looking at, this looks like a ring. Okay, I haven't seen any rings, but that's good to know. So here's a couple, and now I, I'm going to turn off auctions because I don't do auctions really, um, but as you can see, newer ones selling for 40 bucks here. I'm going to look at buy it now because I feel like it gives me a better idea. So here's one with grapes um, that sold for about 20 bucks. I'm going to scroll past the ones that are new in box, uh, new with tags and stuff, because <laughs> that's not realistic probably for what many of us would find. Uh, here's a cool one with a feather for 24. Um, that's the ring one, okay. Well, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. A lot of them have tags still. Here's one, 12.95. Um, another option would be to, especially the ones that are damaged, to lock them up. Here's one that sold for $11.84, um, $28 on that one. So, I mean, even if it's $10, bucks, if i have got all of these in a jar, here's a lot, here we go, uh, $25. Bucks. So even if I got, you know, all of these in a jar that I spent $25, $30 bucks on, and I lot five of them up for $25, bucks, it's, you know, still a pretty good return on profit. Um, but I think the ones that are in better shape, will sell better. And then I also think someone told me that there are certain ones that are more desirable. So I think I would have to look them up individually also and see 
um, you know, like maybe Leo would, would be more desirable than just, you know, Jets. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just speculating on that one. But I did look up the Leo one. So let me, did I flip it over? Okay, I did. Um, so here is the just the Leo one down here that sold um, Alex and Annie Ladies Bracelet Charm Leo. Uh, sold for $19.47. Um, this one was on auction, sold for five bucks. But, ooh, that picture. Um, here's another one, that, uh, the Leo one that sold for, you all, well, best offer, 16. So, I mean, I think I would just have to look them up based on um, subject matter. So that's something else to look out for. And again, it's Alex and Annie, and they have this sort of adjustable style bracelet with little round charms. It looked like some of them were not round, and they had other bits on there as well. Okay, hi, hi in the chat. Thanks so much for coming, everybody. I really appreciate you being here this evening. Um, do I, Vonda's asking, do I have a certain formula on how I price things? Well, generally what I'll do is I'll take a look at, I take a look at what's sold on eBay, but I don't always just go off of that. I know some people swear by that, but I look at, um, when I do my search, I'll look at eBay. Did I say Google? I'll look at eBay sold. I will also look at Google shop, like I'll search in Google and then I click on shopping just to see what other prices are out there. And if it's something that's on Etsy, then I look at Etsy as well. Um, and then I just kind of gauge like where I see everything and I tend to price a bit higher um, on the high, or on the higher end of the scale. If I see 30 things out there, then I tend to price on the higher end. Or if I, if I see only five, then I definitely price on the higher end. Um, and then I put most, well, pretty much everything I put on best offer on eBay. And so if I get a, an offer, I'd rather have it listed too high and then take a best offer. Then you know that feeling when you list it and it sells like that and you're like, oh gosh, I saw that too low, you know. Um, so yeah, it's, I'd rather do it that way because I, I, I have the luxury of being able to wait for the right buyer and you can always lower the price, you know. So there's that. Okay, next. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, my. Oh, oh, bum crack. I thought you were talking about my birthday. Sorry. Murphy escape. My birthday's coming too. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Hang on. Oh, I had water. Here it is. Okay. And it is water, y'all. It's not a cupcake. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, next one is, I'm trying to stay on, on topic today because, you know, I get off in some of my chatty ones. These are some earrings that I found, you guys, recently, and <laughs> I'm going to try to refrain. So these were some earrings that we found recently, and I was tempted to keep them because if you are new to the channel, I do characters, I do funny characters. And these ones we decided would be perfect for my character, Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel. And um, she's a secret agent. And these were, would be some of her weapons, right? Because these are really heavy. And so Penelope's, you know, this it was one of the, yeah, anyway. If you're new here, I'm not really nuts. But anyway, these earrings um, <laughs> are from a brand called Yaska. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that. So right there. If you're good, I'll do a Pen I'll do Penelope before I move on. But look at them. They look like lily pads. They're really cool. I'm so tempted to keep them. But when you see what they're being sold for on Etsy, you'll you'll scream at me to sell them. I just want to take them off. Look, I just want to wear them. I just need okay, just take them off. All right, so let's take a peek at Yaska over here. These are sold on eBay, and the brand is Yaska Couture. Um Yes, yes, Christy, mine is on Saturday, yeah. So, here we go. So, Yaska. So, these are some different ones um, sold. You can see some clip-on earrings there that sold for $61. Uh, there are necklaces and, what are these, brooches, uh, this lot of brooches. It has a Yaska and a Monet and other things. Sold for $40. Bucks. Um, here's a Yaska cluster bracelet sold for $22. Uh, and again, these are ones that you can totally find because I found them. So here, and then one of our friends in the in the chat shared that these earrings are up for sale right now on Etsy. These are Yaska earrings, or is this just Yaska? Um, this is just Yaska. You can see these prices: 125, 85. Whether they realize that price, it's uh, a different story. 
but where did they go? Because they are on here. Oh, did I pass them up already? Hang on, scoochie back up. There they are, here we go. So someone is selling them for $145. So as much as we love Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel and her earrings, Zolling, <laughs> that um, I think she would prefer me to sell them, right? <laughs> Tell me what you think. So, yeah, these are these are the Penelope earrings. <laughs> uh, these were not the ones that invented the character, but they were certainly ones that helped us create her backstory. So, um, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed because if you're new, you're like, what is she talking about? This is Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel with a C, and I'm wearing my earrings to the gala tonight, but you mustn't tell 007 because it is a surprise. A surprise, darling. And but but Margaret must sell them. They have a hundred and forty-five dollars, darling. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel will be very sad to see them go. But gosh, don't they look good on me? <laughs> I keep wanting to wear them. Hang on, let me pull this one off. I don't know. I'm enjoying wearing them. Okay. I don't know that they're really mean. Now, no, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. One hundred and forty-five bucks is one hundred and forty-five bucks, right? All right, so um, that is that. So keep an eye out for Yaska. Oh, there goes that one. All right, and I am looking at uh, the C. Yes, you must not forget the C with a C. And <laughs> not a schnitzel. Von Ritzel. Schnitzel Ritzel. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Checking in the chat. <laughs> Sell with the story of Penelope. There we go. Yeah, they're they're like shot puts. They're like her secret weapon, shot put earrings. Um, yeah, they're they're not super heavy, but they're definitely weighty. And if you're watching later, apologies if you see me or hear rather hear me talk to the people that aren't there. Um, there's a chat over to the side, or if you're on your phone, it's down below. And I'm answering questions as it goes along. So, okay, next up, I'm loving my Yaska earrings. Next, these were found in uh, a jewelry jar. <laughs> And this is just recently, so this was a brooch, or rather is a brooch, and also earrings, also earrings. And this brand is Weiss, which is a brand that I've, you know, heard of before, but I've only found a couple times. And so it will say Weiss on the back. And the person, you know what, I don't think I pulled this exact one up um, on this video, but they had it in tagged and maybe they have a booth or something for 25 duck bucks for the lot of three but they go for way more than that so <clears throat> let's share <coughs> pardon me um so these are some different weiss sets and again apologies i didn't pull up these exact ones i should have um but as you can see here's a green rhinestone brooch that sold for 60 dollars um, here the Weiss candle Christmas tree. When I find these Christmas tree brooches like like this, there are a couple different makers, but they tend to sell well. Um, let's see. Again, I need to turn off the the auction ones. Um, here's a set that sold for sixty four ninety nine. So yeah, I mean it's there are different ones that seem to sell for more. Look at this beautiful watermelon Rivoli. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, so yeah. Keep an eye out for Weiss. Let's turn off auctions because I like to see just the buy it nows. For me, because I don't normally do auctions, so I'm looking for another one that might be one that we keep our eyes out for. Uh, so here's some blue ice rhinestone. That's pretty. And here's this, uh, the Christmas tree one again. Right. Okay. All right. So keep your eye out for Weiss. Uh, it looks like it's worth looking up. What is it when you call, oh, oh look at, it's called Peru. <laughs> Either you're joking with me, Christy, because you know I have trouble saying this word, or you're really asking, but I always have trouble saying this word. Um, what is it, what's the jewelry trio called when you have the necklace, earrings, and brooch set? Um, it's called Peru, Peru, and I am, I always struggle with saying that. Um, Watermelon style. Oh, you're talking about the watermelon Rivoli? Those are the Rivoli stones. I just did a, a video about um, different 
terminology, some, some jewelry terminology. The first, I'm going to do some more of those, but th that was the first one. And Rivoli was one of the words. And so was Perur, Perur um, in that one. So yeah. Okay. Um, I'm really asking. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Perur. Perur. Uh, anyway, okay. So next. Oh wait, I also looked up Weiss. Hang on, I forgot. I pulled this up on Etsy as well. So here's some different Weiss um, sets on Etsy. You know, I'm seeing thirty bucks, fifty bucks, um, depending on what it is. So here's a nice. I mean, these aren't sold, but they're what is up right now. I think this little daisy one could probably go for more. I think that's really cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, you didn't know it was called watermelon. The watermelon revolvers are the one that has like a green. Oh, I closed that out. Here, let me just do a search and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watermelon. This is watermelon Rivoli. So the Rivolis are the kind of stone like that's like that, but the watermelon Rivolis are the green ones. They're like green and yeah, and then have that kind of reddish tint in there, reddish pinkish. Can you see what I'm talking about? Like especially on this one right here. Oops, I'm clicking the wrong thing. You can really see, you know, it's green with that kind of reddish pinkish tint in there. So those are Watermelon Rivoli, yeah. Okay, so what do we have next? That's a teachable moment, y'all. You gotta go with it. Okay, so next up, I found this one in a jar. I think the boys are home, I can hear it. I found this little ring in a jar, and it's a brand I'd heard of, but I'd never come across it before. I'd never found it, and it's, I'm gonna see if I can say it. It's BC, BG, and then Max Azaria. Um, right, okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, reading in the chat. So it's this ring, and it's stamped inside BCBG Max Azaria. Azria. I'm so bad with saying names, y'all. Okay, so let's take a peek at what we can find and what kinds of prices we can look for. So here I'm seeing again. Do I have sold? Nope. Let's click on sold. Um, here I'm seeing just a crystal and mesh type necklace for 25 bucks this is a what do you call this asymmetrical coral or collar yeah so $40 um a leather bracelet for 22 so looks like all kinds of different things here's just a cuff bracelet for 25 <laughs> they're teasing me in the, in the chat that's okay so lots of different um styles bib style statements you know these collar type necklaces um, to keep a look. I mean, I think that's a pretty solid price. If I found something like that, that would sell for $25 to $40, I'd be pretty happy. Um, yeah. So keep an eye out for that one. And then did I look up another? Oh, yeah, I found the ring here. So someone is selling this ring on, ah, there we go, on Poshmark for $15. So if I, you know, I found this in a jewelry jar that was I don't know, I can't remember which one it was in, so probably, I mean, safe to say around 30 bucks. You know, if I sold this for 15, that would take care of about half my jar, so, um, yeah. All right, so, next up, oh, let me go peek and see how many friends we've got watching, because I'm on the OBS system, so. 83 watchers, go over there and hit the thumbs up. I'm so glad you guys are here this evening. All right, let's do it. Okay, so next up, we have, let's see what I've pulled up next. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Now, this was one I didn't know. I had never heard of this brand, um, but I had lots of friends in the chat and in the comments let me know. This is why I say always check the comment section. People are so smart. And everybody knows, uh, you know, they're, yeah, everybody's got input. So this ring, which I thought was so cool, again, in a jar, it's got all these twigs and vines and rhinestones and flowers, and it was labeled Mimco. You can see that Mimco, and then S. And I had never heard of Mimco before. And then I was told that it's really big in Australia. Huh? How about that? So I looked up Mimco, and let's take a look. Oh, hey Mo, how's it going? Thanks. <laughs> so here we go, Mimco. These are, oh, okay, okay. Did I look at sold? Let's click on sold. Okay, so here are two Mimco bracelets that sold for $8.25. Um, another bracelet sold for $22. Again, this is the, the ring that I have here. 
um, let me turn off auction because there. And I'm wondering if we if we don't see as many in the U.S. Maybe it's bigger in the U.K. Because even at, when I searched it, it pulled up the let me see if I can highlight it the uh, British spelling of jewelry instead of the American <laughs> version of jewelry. So that's something to consider as well. So 22 bucks on this stretchy bracelet, um, some stud earrings, $22. So it's out there. Again, it's got a good solid $20, $25, $30 range on solds. And then, oh, nice. Um, so then I pulled up, you know, Mimco ring flowers. And there were two that I saw up there for about 60 bucks. I didn't see this one. Here was another one for $37.51. Look, $129 is the original price, I think is what they're trying to say there. So I'm not exactly sure what I'll list this for. Probably pretty high since I don't see another one. So here's another one I'm in Coring that's up for $76, $45. So because of its, I don't know, it's unusual, I think. Mm, yeah, I'll probably list it a bit higher. So let's close, the, oh, hang on, let me switch back over. Um, so next up, I got in this jar, the in the jewelry jar where I had the camera facing down, <laughs> there were these Laurel Birch button covers, all right, like so. And I could not find these exact ones. I did find someone had sold a set that were all different, and I couldn't see what they sold them for. So I have no, I have no frame of reference as to what I will price these at. There are six of them, um, and if you don't know Laurel Birch, this, I mean, commit this style to memory because it all pretty much, not all of it, but much of it looks like this style. And frequently, it's cats and birds, and I'll show you. So, Laurel Birch, she also makes purses and clothes and fabric and things like that too, and I've sold purses and whatnot. Um, but here, you can see, these are sold. This is a Laurel Birch brooch that on auction sold for $47. So, there are some other styles that are not, you know, typical Laurel Birch, that this one looks more like a cloisonne style, but typical ones are like these cats, you know, with really heavy, uh, outlining. Um, here are some bird, um, some I guess they're parrots that sold for fifteen dollars. <laughs> hey guys in the chat, thanks for coming in. Um, so here's another one. Ten. I think these could have gone for more. These lions. That's why I, I personally, I don't know. Anyway, so here's some more cats. They've got this like swirly tails and really heavy outlining. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. Let me turn off auction so we can get a better feel for that. Um, yeah, I, and there are people that just love Laurel Birch. Let's do buy it now. Okay. Is it possible to get the spelling as well? Yeah, the spelling is right up here. Laurel Birch, like that. And I don't think they're marked. You just have to know. That's, oh, let's see. Well, there may be a mark down there. I'm trying to see if there's, like, something stamped down there on the edge, but I can't really, uh, can't really tell. I'll have to get the loop out. So, depending on what it is, so here we've got cats. It seems like the cats want, the cats and the birds tend to go for a little bit higher, but some of the other pieces, you know, not so bad. Look at this cat totem. It's like a cartouche or something, right, with cats. That's pretty cute. Um, oh, look at the black kitties. Oh, 30 bucks is what those sold for. A scarf slide, $25. Yeah, okay. So keep your eyes out. Oh, that's unusual. Bright colors and animals usually. So, oh, you can't see it from your phone. Laurel, so Laurel Birch, L-A-U-R-E-L, -E and then Birch, B-U-R-C-H on those. Okay. All right. So next up, this was, hang on, these earrings, you guys, if you watch my, I had three jewelry jars I did because I bought them all three together and I just couldn't wait. One earring was in one jar, and the other earring was in another jar. So I was really happy that I got them all because then I could get both, both earrings. 
<laughs> so these are the earrings. That one's got some little something on it. Oh, I might have the wrong one. Anyway, I'll have to get it later. So these are the earrings. And the brand is Alexis Bitar. Um, right there, Alexis Bitar. Trying to get it where you can see it real good. I did my nails myself. <laughs> if you're going to pick at me. Um, so Alexis Bitar was a new one for me as well. But I was so glad to have found these earrings. One, they're really pretty. I think they're elegant. Not for me, but for somebody. Look how reflective they are, though. Um, so here we have Alexis Bitar jewelry, and these are sold. So this is a frosted lucite bracelet that's sold for $75. Um, these earrings that have these cabochons and neck, um, just different stones, $44, $51. This is a Lariat Bolo style with these snakes for $46. Uh, yeah, so I'm just seeing like most of them, just a couple 25-ish, but a lot of them are $35, $40 or more. And I don't, I mean, some of them look like couture style almost gaudy earrings um but others don't i mean yeah others look look at these frogs how fun are those let's turn off auctions because i like to see buy it nows okay let's look at buying nows so 50 bucks on this what is that is that a ring or are they earrings it doesn't really say i think they're earrings so 34 bucks 25 here's 175 dollars on this tassel flower. I'm guessing it's a brooch. Um, yeah, a bangle. I could, I mean, look at this one sold. Alexis Bitar large faceted bangle bracelet, $294. Okay. And I could see that being in a jar because they would just think, what is this like plastic bracelet? You know, throw it in the jar, right? Um, so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it was a new brand for me, so when I found them, I was pretty happy to, to have found them. Okay, now, where are we? I don't, and I did, again, I did not look up. So the last two, hang on, I'm looking over here. Okay, the last two are ones, one of them is a brand that was just shared in the Bolo video yesterday. And the reason I'm sharing is that I am almost positive that I have come across this brand and just thrown it into a junk pile because it looked like junk <laughs> and it's not. So here we go. Chan Lu bracelets. Okay. Or jewelry. This particular style. Let me open this particular one up. I know that I have had a bracelet like this where it's leather or fabric and then it's got these woven bits and then there's a button closure, right? Um, so here it is again. There's not a good picture on that, but this one's being sold for 34. Let's take a look at solds and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you watch the Bolo video, I mean, there was one that sold that was, I mean, the, the fabric or leather, it had like, it was, it looked yucky. I don't know how else to describe it. Like the oils. Oh, I'm sorry. I just paused right there on the naked lady. Um, for your pleasure, for your blue viewing pleasure. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can find it again. So this style of, what do you even call this? Wrap bracelet. Um, and the one that we were looking at yesterday, it was, I think this is the one. Sorry if it's your listing. Hey, you sold it. That's awesome. But what I was looking at was on the, oh gosh, let me see the original listing. Because I can pull up the, the image. Like these string parts just look like it had collected body oil, you know. You see how it looks like it's just where people have kept pulling on it and the oils from your fingers. And I mean, and then there's like the green on the button part and it says the name on there. What was it again? Uh, Chan Lu on the little button, right? Oh my gosh. So definitely, I'm, I'm throwing this out there again. I know it was in the Bolo video, but... This was one that, even though it looked grody, sold for almost $30. Um, so definitely keep your eye out for Chan Lu. Particularly, I will be looking for that style of bracelet again because I know I have seen it. And <laughs> not thought it was anything because it looked like soiled. That's a nice word for it. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so next up, this is another one that I have found in a jar. It's Kendra Scott. And that's the one I was saying earlier that I thought <clears throat> when I saw the, the logo, I was like, I know Kendra Scott's logo. I can never keep them straight. You know, Kendra Scott's logo has got the circly things. Um, so I'll show you Kendra Scott's logo. Yeah, it looks crusty. <laughs> exactly. So Kendra Scott's logo, um, I know I pulled it out. It looks like this. So you can see it's got like these circles that go around and around. So you can see why I would think, well, we're getting there. It's kind of close-ish. Um, and then they join and make this like flower in the center sort of. Um, so, and Kendra Scott's stuff, there are so many knockoffs. And I think this makes it, is why maybe I was able to find them at Goodwill. I found an earrings and a necklace. The earrings were $2.99 or $1.99 and the necklace was the opposite. One was $2.99, one was $1.99. So basically five bucks um, for the earrings and the necklace. And I sold them locally for $75 to a lady on the local, you know, garage sale site. And I probably could have gotten more if I went, you know, and sold them online. But I knew I could, because it's hot. I and mean, all the ladies here, not all of them, because I don't, but many ladies here love the Kendra Scott look. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for it. So you've seen, you know, you've probably seen knockoffs of it that they have this like medallion shape and sometimes there's a stone in the middle or um, let me pull it up on Google. So like this style here, this, these purple ones, I mean, I see knockoffs of that all the time, you know, or these that have it on the necklace like so. Um, so here's Kendra Scott on eBay. Um, these are sold listings. So here are, yeah, I mean, the earrings, $55. And I think the one I had was like a, a clear crystal too. So it was kind of like this style. The necklace part on the back wasn't the same. Um, Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, pardon me. So, when you are out, here's how you'll know if it's a knockoff or if it's a real Kendra Scott. She's kind of, not sneaky, but to find the logo, you're going to look along the edge. So, here's a Kendra Scott pair of earrings, and you can see, like, along the edge, the name is stamped. And on the pair I found, there were, you know what, there was one. That, and there was another one. I found one earring in a, in a um, jewelry jar. And my neighbor, who lives around on the next block, wanted it because she said if she takes it back in, she, they'll give her the mate and she'll only have to pay half price. So she would get a pair of Kinder Scott earrings basically for half price. But the ones that I found that in the jar that I, there was only one, um, it was, you can't see where I'm pointing, but along the bottom edge, yeah, you can't see my arrow. But mine was along that bottom edge, and I think it said K Scott or KS or something like that. So, so look along the edges of the piece because sometimes it's hidden really small, written really small um, on those edges. I don't have one because I sold them so fast. Um, I don't even think I sold it to her because she's my neighbor, you know, whatever, you know. So those are the ones I've got for you today. Those are my 10. Um, definitely leave a comment with a costume jewelry brand that you have found because, you know, we're looking for findable ones for sure too. Um, and what it was and what kind of price you got it for, how much you found it for, because that's really exciting to hear about. And if you are new here again, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. Also, um, we've got the best darn jewelry group on Facebook, and it is called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, formerly Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, and it's got the big Hope Diamond up top, so go over there and join. We are a great group of people, totally positive, and if you have questions, ask them. Nobody's going to make you feel stupid for asking questions or for not knowing everything. And yeah, come and join us. And we are going to be getting our learn back on once I get moved. And we'll start having our monthly themes again. I can't wait because it's a lot of fun. So come join us there. Hit subscribe here. And you guys have an amazing evening. And I will talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Oh, dear. I've done it again. I always say bye. And then I'm like, where did I put that stop button? Okay.
Bye, guys.